Help support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. All right, everybody. I want to welcome Austin Kramer to the show. Thanks he's, for having me. He's the head of operations of, what do we call this, the Baris? Barsis. Barsis. Yes, sir. Now, there's been a whole bunch of systems over the years. We've seen probably the past five years of drink, drink, I guess it was, mixology machines that do all kinds of crazy stuff, some using pods, some using a couple of bottles and containers upside down, all kinds of crazy stuff. But I saw this the other day, and I thought, oh, that might be cool to have in my house because it does something I've never seen before. So give us, give us, the, give us the rundown of what this does. Yes, sir. So basically, for simple terms, this is a robot bartender. It's called the Barsys 360. That's the name of the device. As you can see here on both sides, it's got three different stations for any ingredients you want to put in. We've got the funnel in one of them. You just pour in any ingredients you want. Right now, we've got it loaded with some... Vodka, orange juice, and cranberry. So I'll make you one of my favorite cocktails called the Madras. Absolutely. Each station holds up to a liter full of liquid. So you can have six liters in total. So you can make yourself a whole lot of, a lot of cocktails for you. So I could have vodka in one. Mm -hmm. I could have OJ in another. Absolutely. Cranberry. Maybe some... Uh, Triple sec, tequila, whatever, whatever you want. You can mix and match any type of liquors or mixers. It can handle anything. Juices, sodas, anything. Beautiful. <laughs> so, um, and here's the thing, too, is, okay, let's just go ahead and do, do the of rest course. of the demo. I'll give you the whole run through. So, basically, it's connected via the Barsis app right yep. here. That's what I've got there. All right, we'll, we'll, sh we'll show we'll the audience. But close. anyway, you, you guys will get the app when you buy this, okay? Exactly. So. So what happens is once you tell the app what's inside of each station, the app will then make a full menu for you and say, okay, with these different ingredients, you can make all of these different types of cocktails. You don't have to make any of those if you don't want to. You can start from scratch, mix and match different ingredients to fit your flavor profile every single time. Well, all you have to do is just find a cocktail you want to make. I'll make the one called the Madras Vodka Cranberry Juice and OJ, my favorite. Once you click the Make button, the machine will go green. That means it's time to place the glass on. This is our electromagnetic mixing glass, if you'd like to show that off. Yeah. It basically replicates the shaking or stirring of the cocktail. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. If you're making a drink like a White Russian or a drink that just needs to be poured straight down, regular glass with ice will work as well. As soon as you put this on, you're done. No more work for you. You just get to watch the magic happen. The machine's going to start pouring, and we're going to have a little show. So All we've got right. the vodka pouring first, and then we got the other two ingredients following. So, oh, it looks like a little cranberry. Yes, sir, and it's going to be topped off with just a little bit of OJ to give you that little orange juice flavor at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time to drink. <laughs> If you want it, you can start no, now. No, I know, I know. So, so in, start, uh, in comes the orange juice. Again, it's mixing the whole time. Exactly. So when it's green, that means it's already done. But because it's electromagnetic, it's going to keep mixing until you take it off. So it's oh. going to keep mixing until we want it. So I'll take it off now. Now it's going to stop and we're already done. So add a little ice. Of course. Ready to rock and roll? Yes, sir. Now, the question I asked at the booth the other day is, all right, I'm going to dump a jug of orange juice in this thing. Of course. We're having a party. People are having fun with this. At the end of the day, oh, man, three-quarters of orange juice still left. Obviously, I'm not going to leave orange juice in there for a week because no this way. is not refrigerated, right? No, so the machine is insulated. insulated. So any ingredients you put in, it's going to maintain that same temperature over the next six hours. You take that OJ out of the fridge, pour it inside the machine, it's going to stay cold the next six hours. Same thing with hot ingredients as well. So now comes the thing that we're all going to dread. How do I drain it and clean it? Absolutely. So let's say you, know, you still have an ingredient that you want to keep for a little bit. You can flush out however much ingredient is still left in the app. One of the smart things about the app is when you tell it how much you've put inside when you started your party, it'll keep track of exactly how much is still in there as you're making drinks. So it'll know if you've got eight ounces, 16 ounces, however much left. Once the party's over, you still got a little bit left. Tell the app, I want to flush out all eight ounces of my OJ, put a glass down. It'll catch it all, put it right back into the bottle. When you want to clean it, when you buy the machine, it comes obviously with the machine itself, the funnel, and the mixing glass. 
as well as one of the diversal cleaning salts that comes with your Keurigs and other household appliances. All you'll need to do is once you're done with whichever station you add that OJ in, mix some of that solution up with water, pour that in whichever station you're going to be cleaning, and then on the app itself, there's a station cleaning function. Let me go pull that up right now. That's why the app's, or that's why the machine's yeah. making colors. <laughs> it pulls up all the different stations. You just select whichever station you want to clean. That'll purge out all that cleaning solution with the water. That station's ready for the next ingredient. So once you use the solution through it, is the piping... Is there residual in the piping at all? Oh, no, no. The way that the purging works is when you pour any liquid inside of it, it's kind of like a butterfly effect. So it's able to encompass all of the, each, whichever pump you're pouring in through. Yeah. And then when you purge it, it gets everything out and it's ready for the next ingredient right so after. So it purges it out completely. Oh, yeah. So some people are going to say, okay, how do, over time, mm -hmm. the chamber might get yucky. Exactly. How do I clean the chamber? Yes, sir. So, it, well, that's how you clean the chamber. That's how you it clean the chamber. It just depends on whichever ingredient you have inside of it. So, if it's an ingredient like OJ or a juice or soda that yep. can go bad, the app will notify you after 24 hours of putting that ingredient inside, hey, it's time to clean this out or the product won't work the way you want it to. So, I just don't pour Dawn in this thing, do I? If you want to, luckily, because that's alcohol, that can stay inside as long as you want. The it's alcohol clean. can stay in, I yes, understand. Sir. But if the OJ chamber, because you know, some people are going to get a little weird, the cleaning solution that you provide mm -hmm. is a bar solution, right? Yes, it's a bar food, food grade, so it's able to grade. go with anything. Yes, right. sir. So it's not going to hurt you. Oh, no, 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 absolutely not. We so, made sure that you can have that in and pour another ingredient right after, and you're going to be just fine. You're going to be good. So I think that's probably the thing that most of us will be concerned about on this. So... My family goes crazy for these kinds of things. And, you know, we bought the one that went out of business that shall not be named. And they've got another one at the house that holds three different liquors but no mix. Gotcha. So this is what's unique about this is the mix. And I could see, you know, we have parties all the time. And, you know, we, might, we may not use this in a day-to-day -day thing. But, you know, we're having a party. And, you know, we can kind of figure out what the guest's favorite drinks are. We could pre-fill whatever it be Patron, whether it be... Exactly. Uh, it, you know, I don't think I will pour scotch in here. But I'll pour whiskey or whatever we yep. put in there. Do you have recommendations on the combinations of stuff to put in the machine? Oh, absolutely. So, like I was saying, when you put in all of the ingredients and you input in the app, hey, I've got all six of these ingredients yeah. inside, it has a full menu and says, with those ingredients, you can make all of these different types of cocktails. But do you have a suggestion guide to say, okay, we're going to recommend that you absolutely. pour in a bottle of whiskey, we pour in a bottle of triple sec or whatever you're... Yes, sir. So, on the app itself, it also has different types of filters. You're uh -huh. like, oh, I want to make vodka drinks tonight, whiskey drinks tonight. You click that. That, it'll have all the recipes as well as all the ingredients that they need to have in too. So it gives you all the information you need so you can have that type of party. This is this thing's going to be so cool. It's a lot of fun. It's going to be so cool. There will be one of these sitting. This is on my. This was on my buy list. So I know you're not complete in production yet. Or, oh, oh no no we're, we're in complete production. Your production we're, is ready yes, to rock. We're, we're currently finishing out pre-orders. So if oh. you order right now on our website, thebarsis.com, we're going to start shipping within the next two weeks by the end of January, and then I believe we'll be on Amazon by April. Price point four seventy five US one time purchase four seventy five no subscription, and this thing will be loads of fun. And I like the ability of the cup. And it spins. Oh, yes. That's, and I know you guys, we've been watching your booth. We can see you guys from here. Oh, yeah. You guys have been slammed. Yeah, people love us. They love looking at cool things, and they also love free drinks. So <laughs> combine them both, and they're never going to leave us. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, how much you got? You, Michelle, you want one? I've already pulled it up on my phone. Yes, uh, I oh. want one. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, I'm. I don't want to drink while on the show, but we will definitely pour that in there and, and sample some a little later. Of course, absolutely. <laughs> Do the transfer for sure. We will have a post-show uh, cocktail. Definitely. Um, hey, this is awesome. Um, thank you for coming on. We're in is it barsis dot? It's the barsis dot com. The barsis b a r s y s dot com. Four seventy five. Pre-order soon on Amazon as well. Um, this this thing's cool. It, it really, really is. I think that uh, uh, people are going to have a lot of fun with this. I've had a lot of fun with it. Thank you so much yeah. for having me. Yeah, thank you so much for being here. Thanks for coming. Absolutely. All right, there we go.
The Tech Podcast Network CES 2024 coverage is executive produced by Michelle Mendez. Technical directors are Kurt Corliss and Adam Barker. Associate producers are Nancy Ertz, Clinton Millsap, Sergio Velasquez, and Terry Willingham. Voiceover by Aaron Hurst. Our hosts are Marlo Anderson, Don Bain, Todd Cochran, Scott Ertz, and Christopher Jordan. Studio and equipment are provided by Plug Hits Productions. This has been a Tech Podcast Network broadcast, copyright 2024.